what is going on people so in this video by the title you can see i'm going to be talking about optic hitch um some recent stuff just happened with him and optic and no longer being the director for media production to optic uh nation or optic gaming youtube channel whatever you want to call it uh, it used to be called Optic Nation, I believe. Um, anyways, so he is no longer the media director for the stuff that goes on to the Nation channel because of some uh, screw-ups and stuff that he did. Not really screw-ups. Um, he he uh, didn't do a stream uh, while back at the Scuff House for Turtle Beach, which uh, wasn't very good on him. And then um, he uh, was kind of late on the... Uh, um, uh, vision videos uh for optic gaming um which is understandable i mean he it was just him and one other person aaron uh making these videos and um it's a lot of work to do uh, uh he released a, a podcast i watch his podcast it's called around the bar and he talks about um just stuff that's going on and in this video he talked about the stuff that was going on uh from about from the scuff house all the way until present and how stuff just wasn't really fair and a lot of people really sided with him because he's ran the optic uh nation channel for almost two years now almost going on three uh he's not going to be doing that anymore but he basically re-kickstarted the nation channel when it was dead um he's i'd say one of the top five most important people in optic gaming up there with scump um i'd say hitch uh maybe maniac um hex obviously running it and jay uh, i don't know the people that are above them since optics sold a majority of their company i believe but uh anyways so he's no longer in charge because of the lateness uh they were supposed to do a seven day plan and they could only get to four days and uh he when when they lived at the scuff house they didn't have the resources to get the equipment the staff and the space that they needed for these videos but whenever they moved to um texas um they got that partnership which helped them fund pretty much everything and then they had money uh, they had revenue in order to get the uh, equipment staff and space and um basically they had this area uh obviously and they had nowhere they had no room in it and um they were expected to deliver with this seven day plan and at max if they worked like horses um being whipped all the time they'd get to four days and they could barely get three um four with no sleep uh which i thought was crazy so he he stated multiple times that he asked for all three of those things and for months and months and months um people are were wondering why uh he couldn't get these things uploaded on time and he told them every time they came to ask him like a hundred times i need these three things and i can't do it unless i get these three things um so yeah uh that's why he's no longer in charge of the channel um he is now a content creator i guess he's no longer a media person so he's gonna start being uh more in videos and stuff i guess like that instead of being behind the camera and he's gonna start working on his personal channel and stuff like that uh from the comments and the stuff that i've seen uh, a lot of people are really upset about this uh they really like optic hitch i love optic hitch i've been subbed to him for almost two years now uh he is a great uh human being and he's really good at making videos and i enjoy watching the videos they're unique and they're special in their own way and just from watching the one video that has been uploaded to the optic gaming channel they brought in this outside company to come in and make the videos uh for the stuff that he used to do like vision and all that and just from seeing the one trivia that they uploaded the mics um the the whole setup was like it, it's an a-class production um but it the mics are 
very annoying. I mean, they just stand up straight up through their entire face. Secondly, you can't hear the person behind the camera. You don't know the person behind the camera, so you have no connection with them. And then they don't even read out the questions. They don't help. T they didn't tell you how many points that they, they told you how many points they got, but they didn't tell you out of how many. Um, and then all they recorded was them talking about or giving the answers. They didn't list, uh, record them uh, giving the in-betweens, like coming up with the answers, the interesting stuff you want to see. You don't watch a video just to see someone give you answers and then not the other stuff. If you're watching someone like Opti Gaming, you're watching them because you like them. You want to see them. You don't want to just see them give an answer and that's it. That's boring. I clicked off the video halfway through. I couldn't keep watching it. Um, the audio... I, I don't know, it, the production is so nice that it's just too much, I feel like. And there's small things that they that they need to fix. The The audio quality is it's not good um, in terms of uh, uh, how it used to... The, the previous videos were better. The, the way the videos were put together and edited were not good. They should have talked to Optic Hitch and had them help them. Um, start to take over that stuff and show them and teach them things of how he used to do it and how the people like it because Optic Hitch uh, stated in his Around the Bar podcast that uh, he knows what the people want and he gives the people what they want and he that is 100% true. He gives the people what they want because he knows what they like and that's something that I really like about him. Uh, in the trivia video, it, it's close to almost having as many dislikes as likes. Uh, there's a lot of comments talking about bringing back Hitch into making the videos. Um, I'd, I just I don't think that might happen uh, because of the powers that be. Uh, Hex uploaded a video talking about this, basically trying to uh, maintain all the hate that he's getting and stuff like that. He, he was getting a lot of hate. If you read the comments he he hasn't uploaded the last three days and he's like uploaded 40 or 50 days in a row uh because if he doesn't upload for one day he will donate a hundred dollars to charity and ever since he uploaded that video he has not uploaded in the last three days uh he uploaded it, the video last night but he didn't upload his normal vlog today or another one i believe um well actually he didn't upload his vlog for yesterday or today or or the previous day of yesterday so three days in a row he did not upload his vlog um he did make that video just trying to you know make him not seem like the bad guy and just try to explain a little bit uh how stuff works and how they got to that and just trying to um basically make people understand why they did what they did to hitch um Without Hitch, I don't think the Optic Gaming Channel is going to work very well. I think he did a very good job. Um, another uh, really fucked up thing that everyone agrees with, why they're so mad at um, uh, Hex, is that they asked for all these resources, and then as soon as they take them uh, off, uh, or him and Aaron off of being a director for media, uh, the, the group that came in to do all this, they have all these things they needed. They got the team, they got the equipment that, uh, Hitch and Aaron had always been wanting. Um, and then they, uh, they had the space. They, they had the production, as you saw in the Optic Trivia video. That was theirs. That was the equipment that they had always wanted. Um, and to use that equipment, Optic Hitch had to go and take his key up front and uh, s uh, then go and use the equipment, get everything out, and then put it all up, and then go back and then get his key card. Well, they, they can just walk in and use it after that, uh, which a lot of people thought was really fucked up, and it is fucked up. Um, I don't know why they would do something like that. It's, it's freaking ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's my opinion on it. I think what they did to Optic Hitch is fucked up, and that uh, Hitch should be the one running the uh, media stuff and producing the videos with Aaron. Um, and I forgot the other person's name. I think his name started with an R, Roger, or something like that. But anyways, I think they should be the one doing it. If they had, like, a five-person team, the equipment that they wanted, and the space, everything would be perfect. Um, because before, whenever they're at the scuff house, having to, uh, only do two teams at the time was easy for them, but then they added, like, four more teams before they moved to Texas, and they were in different locations, so they had to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to include them in these visions, which is not easy to do one, once a week. 
But when they move to Texas, everybody's in the same place. So all they have to have them do is drive like five minutes to come into the office and it's super easy. But they don't have the equipment. They don't have the people to produce all these videos that they have to do. They have to have a seven day plan, one video every day for seven days. Um, and then they just didn't have the space to do it. Uh, they didn't give them anywhere to produce these videos. But uh, yeah, that's that's about it. If, if they gave them those three things and if they put Optic Hitch back, everything will be fine with the Optic Gaming channel. There won't be so much hate. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your opinions on are on this current issue. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're interested, I will be coming out with an Optic vs. 100 He and uh, my thoughts about both of them versus Hex and Nade Shot kind of in a way. But uh, yeah, look out for that. Check out my second channel for gameplays for PUBG and stuff like that. Check out my third channel for funny moments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.